Hi guys, Sandy Ingram here and welcome to the Education Matrix channel. Now in today's video, as you know, I'm an independent contractor for the Department of Treasury IRS. Now one of the things that you learn after being an independent contractor for IRS is that when you want to know the truth about a situation, you follow the money. And this is true for Iraq or any other country. You follow the money. So on to, in today's video, we're going to take a look at the money that is being appropriated to Iraq. USAM.gov beta website. Now it used to be FBO.gov. But to make a long story short, it's where you find out contract opportunities. Now, I put into the search contract opportunities for Iraq, and this is what came up, over 10,000 results. Now, of course, I want to look at the most recent results, and this date is April 21st, 2020, Iraq Performance Management and Evaluation Service. So they're going to hire someone. They are actually spending money for government contracts in Iraq. Now, as you can see, the next request for a proposal is services for U.S. Agency for Global Media Broadcasting Operations in Iraq. Now, but you look at the date, and the date goes back to May 20th of 2019. So basically, according to this search, there has not been any activity between 2019, May, and let's see, April, well, March, really, uh, of 2020. Now, if you go back and research even further, you will see that the date before the 2019 was actually in May of 2018. So it doesn't appear like there's a lot of money or exchange of money or transactions or contracts between the United States for the country of Iraq. But that's not the end of our research here. Let me show you. Okay, when I come over to Department of Defense contracts and I put in the keyword Iraq, this is what comes up. But first you should see here. Now, if you are not a U.S. citizen and you are watching this video, your IP address will stop you from entering these uh, some of these websites. But I am showing U.S. citizens what's going on with the money and what's going on with the contracts. Now, it says here contracts valued at $7 million or more are announced each business day at 5 PM. When I did my research and I put in Iraq, I found a lot of information in the millions and millions, hundreds of millions of dollars for Iraq contracts. So there is a lot of money under the Department of Defense, which is being spent in Iraq. Search is not done yet. Hold on. Okay, here we are over at U.S. embassies and consulates in Iraq, and they have a consistent order request for contracts going on here. It's something I wanted to show you. It will be mandated that all businesses entering into a contract or purchase order with the U.S. government will require a DUNS number. That's a Dun & Bradstreet. Please take the time to register your company with Dun & Bradstreet by following this link to their webpage. It's a fairly simple, easy process, and I also will leave below in the link, uh, in the description, a link to how to get started as a U.S. government contractor. But in the meantime, let's take a look at what's being requested. Okay, here's a welcome kit supplies. Let's see, supply and delivery of linen, household supplies, hygiene and sanitizing items, supply and delivery of microwaves. So see, there is a number, any number of requests. Let's take a look at Welcome Kit Supplies. 
this is a list of what they are looking for. And if your company can provide this, then you can submit a quotation and possibly get an order and earn income from supplying the U.S. government requests for proposals. Now, it may seem daunting, but if you take each step by step, each line step by step, and follow the instructions, you can do this. There is no doubt that you can do this.